So that suggests there's a lot more going on than we thought with these big Colombian mammoth populations. Now, can you tell us how do we reconstruct populations using mitogenomes? And then why is the Colombian populations in Mexico, why are we seeing different trends there than other populations? So um, if you have mitochondrial sequences, but also it could be molecular sequences, you can assess how many differences and similarities there are between them. And if you have some previous assumption on the mutation rate, so that's the rate in which mutations accumulate mm -hmm. per generation, then you can make a, an assessment of how, what was the, the genetic diversity in the past, okay? So you can reconstruct the affected population in the past as well. And the affected population is basically the number in, of individuals which you could reconstruct the whole genetic variation of a population. And this is correlated to the census population. So the bigger the census population, the more the affected population size. The smaller the census population, the more is the, the, the affected population size. So if we see that the affected population size is, is reducing in time, that means that that population is being affected by something happening in their environments that the numbers are going down and the genetic diversity is, is reducing. Mm. 